In the state of Ohio, a trial is a hearing in court before a judge or a jury to ultimately resolve disputes between two or more parties. Trials are becoming less common because a large majority of cases have similar facts to previous cases and the parties can predict how a case will resolve based upon prior outcomes. However, if your case cannot be resolved, it will be set for a trial before a jury. Typically, a jury trial begins with a short introduction by the court explaining the general nature of the case, the positions of each party, and what the underlying basis for the dispute. After this introduction, the attorneys will begin a process known as voir dire, which determines the jury and the panel that will hear the case. The parties have an opportunity to dismiss potential jurors for cause, or they may dismiss a limited number of potential jurors for any reason, which are known as preemptory challenges. Once a jury is selected, the parties will begin with their opening statements. The opening statements provide each party their version of the evidence that will be presented to the jury. Parties should not advocate during the opening statements, but rather should explain what evidence they believe will be admitted and what they think the outcome of the case will be. After opening statements, the plaintiff presents evidence through testimony, exhibits, and expert testimony. Each witness will be called to the witness stand and placed under oath. The plaintiff will conduct their direct questioning of the witness. After the plaintiff finishes the direct questioning, the defendant will have an opportunity to cross-examine that witness. Cross-examination is limited to the topics discussed in the plaintiff's questioning, as well as any other topics that may attack the credibility of the witness. After the defendant has completed the cross-examination, the plaintiff may redirect the witness to clarify any testimony that was attacked during the cross-exam. After the plaintiff has completed their case in chief, the defendant will have an opportunity to present their side of the story. The defendant may call witnesses, present evidence, and include expert testimony in the same manner the plaintiff did in their case in chief. The plaintiff will cross-examine the defendant's witnesses, and the defendant will then redirect. After the parties have presented their case, they will engage in closing arguments, which should tie the entire case together. The parties will refer to the testimony and the evidence presented during their case and advocate to the judge or the jury that they should be found in their favor. If it's a jury trial, after the parties have completed their closing arguments, the judge will advise the jury regarding the law and the duties they must perform. In the state of Ohio, the jury must render a verdict based upon concurrence of at least three-fourths of the jury, such as six out of eight jurors. Usually the jury will deliberate to determine two main questions regarding liability and damages. If the jury determines the defendant is liable to the plaintiff, the next decision is to determine what relief should be given to repay what has been taken from the plaintiff. Once a jury has rendered its decision, the verdict will be read in court by the judge. This concludes the jury service and the trial is completed. The length of the trial varies based upon the type of the case, but most jury trials can be completed in one to two weeks, if not less. If you have further questions about trials or any part of the litigation process, please do not hesitate to email or call our office.